Hey guys, welcome to another episode of A Drummer's Guide 2. So, this week I want to talk about community. Makes it sound like it's some sort of preachy, I don't know, strange thing, but it is! No, every one of these videos is some sort of, I don't know, I think it's like a swan song, is that the right word? To myself. Uh, but I just want to talk about community and specifically, obviously, <laughs> the drum community, which I think is one of the most brilliant communities on the planet, to be honest. Uh, and obviously I would say that because it's pretty much the only one that I'm a part of, like truly, and have been since I was around about 12 or 13 years old. So yeah, community. I think in whatever you're doing, having a community of people to uh, draw from, to you know find support from, is incredibly, incredibly, I was going to say beneficial, but that sounds like you're using it. It's it's just important. I think that, you know, to have a group of like-minded people and and be able to just go hang out and, and feel like you're not the only one is really, really brilliant. And I know myself that I have benefited so much from some so many, I was going to say some, not some, many, 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 many amazing people within the drum community. So I find that if you can find a group of people and it might be just, you know, one other person, like, okay, my first experience of some sort of drum community was when I very first started playing drums. First day, went to a drum club uh, and it was 30 people. We were all in there. We were all complete beginners. We were all 11 years old and we were all playing the same thing, learning the same thing at the same point. Uh, we'd all just sort of, we would have been six months into starting secondary school. So everyone's still sort of finding their feet, finding their friends, feeling a bit vulnerable. That didn't change for many years for me. And uh, yeah, it was just this, this little bubble of people where you're like oh this is really cool okay cool this is like a thing now this community gradually whittled its way down to being uh just me and my best friend Sharice Sharice Ose she's out with Simple Minds at the moment uh and uh yeah another professional drummer and yeah it, this became my community it was me and Sharice against the world we knew that we wanted to be professional drummers we didn't really know how to do it but we knew that we just wanted to do it and we were going to find a way and we did and our community involved every day coming into school uh playing the drums for an hour before school an hour at lunch an hour after school we would go home at night and then proceed to call each other on the phone uh and on the landline and uh we would talk for I'd say maybe two hours a night, an hour, two hours a night about music, about drums. Uh, we would go around each other's houses. We would watch videos of drummers that we'd found or gigs that we'd, we'd found. Um, YouTube wasn't a thing back then. If it was, oh my gosh, that would have been amazing too. But we just really created this buzz between each other. And when we would practice, we would be like, uh, bouncing off each other ideas and 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 concepts and just just generally getting excited about drumming basically so this expanded when we hit i want to say 13 maybe and we had heard about this drum show that happened at the wembley conference center um i can't remember what it was called what was it called it was called well basically it became drum alive uh and then it became the london drum show anyway it had many in, in can incantations incarnations incarnations let's go with that yeah so we decided right we should probably be around other drummers and this was the first time that we were truly exposed to the drum community outside of me and Sharice basically it was a bunch of people that were you know, a lot of the, well, a few of them were guys that were posters on our walls and, and here they were in the flesh and it was like, oh my gosh. And it was a room full of people like us who just loved the drums and we would go around and, and we would like go and listen to different symbols, you know, and, and dream about, oh, maybe one day we would have symbols or, or, oh, these drums, oh, don't they sound amazing? Like one day I'll be playing those drums and we would watch people playing and just be completely inspired. It was like this intense 
kind of onslaught of inspiration that came from watching people play. And then luckily, because we were together, I mean, individually, I'd say that she was a lot more outgoing than me at the time. I was very, very shy. Uh, and we would just go up to random drummers and be like, hi, we're Emily and Sharice and, and, and we want to be drummers. And, you know, you're professional and, and, and tell us about it. How do we do it? And we would do this uh, for, I mean, for years. I mean, some would argue we still do that, which we do. We did it like literally two months ago. We were at the UK drum show in Manchester, still running around talking to everyone. But the point was, it was our first introduction to this community. Now, the first thing that is absolutely incredible about the drum community specifically, but I know a lot of other communities, is the support that was given. And I don't know whether we were just relentless or whether they saw like drummers would see uh, that spark in us that they probably had at our age but like every single drummer without exception and if there were I don't remember them and that's fine I'm happy with that it makes me have a happier life uh, thinking about people every drummer that I can remember without exception would absolutely open the floodgates and just tell us everything that they possibly could to help us get to where they saw that we wanted to be going and that was I mean at the time it seemed very natural very normal looking back how incredible is that the people were just so open and 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 willing to just go you want to do this cool right look at this look at that go watch this player, you should check out this player, have you heard this music, you know, and it was just this amazing conversation, we used to write down, we had uh, these these diaries that you get from the Musician Union, we would write down uh, everything, everything that people would say, right, check out that artist, right, check out that drummer, okay, amazing, we should be working on the click, amazing, we should be playing to music, and we were like these sponges, but as I say, the drum community collectively would just feed us all this information and just be like, cool, you want to do this? Go do it. So the amount of support that you can get from a community is just everything. And then even to developing personal relationships with drummers that were doing exactly what we wanted to be doing, they wouldn't just give us information. Things like, I remember, so there's a drummer over here uh, in the UK called Carl Brazil. He's currently out with Robbie Williams. He's played with him for years. Uh, he also played with James Blunt, or I think he still does whenever James goes out. Uh, he used to play in Feeder as well for a while, but we've known Carl for a very long time and lovely boy. He, I think I must have been 16 or something like that. He called me for an audition. Maybe I was 15. All I remember is that I had braces and he called me for an audition for this band called Body Rockers and I was just like, oh my God, an audition, oh, that's amazing, I'm oh, professional. Um, and I went and I did this audition and uh, it went super well, but I didn't get it and I'll tell you why in a minute because, uh, and like Carl was like, that was brilliant, amazing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. and he called me after, he said, look, you didn't get it, but... Uh, it was really good. They really loved you. The only thing was that it was your age. And I was like, well, that's fair. I was 15 or 16. Like, I can't even probably get into most venues. So why would they bring a 16 year old on tour? But looking back, I'm pretty certain that he basically did that to just give me some exposure to it, to give me the experience to support me uh and 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 just go you know this is this is what it's like this is the level you need to be at and he was saying that I did a good job but again he I mean he was obviously friends with these guys because he had been playing with them and I am f like 99.9% .9 sure they never had any intention of actually seeing me as a uh as a potential drummer for their band but they were willing to just go, yeah, of course, just get her in and, you know, like, let's give her a great experience so that she can move forward. So it's moments like that that you just think, yeah. And, you know, countless conversations that I've had with people, other drummers, where when I'm struggling and, and I would reach out and send an email to, say, Jeff Dugmore and just say, 
I'm really struggling. I don't have any work. Uh, I, I, I don't know what I should be doing. Uh, can you help? And even just to get a response of basically saying, look, we all go through this. It's OK. You've just got to keep going and it's fine. It's going to be fine. And it always was because you trust these people because, you know, you trust that they're doing it. And if they say it's going to be OK, if they say that they've been through it, then you just think, OK, well, then I must be at least in the ballpark because you went through this too. Um, I remember having a conversation with Ash Stone over a beer and it was just like, I wasn't drinking beer, I don't like beer. Um, and, and I was just, I was really frustrated at the time of, uh, at what was going on. And he was like, look, you've just got to be patient. It's just one of those things. You know, you're the sort of player that you probably won't hit your peak until you're in your 30s or 40s because you're that song player, you're that groove player. And, and I just, I remember just being like, okay, if you say it's okay, then I just need to keep going. And, you know, and I did, and hey, it works. You know what I mean? Just someone that is there, that has been there, done it, is doing it, saying to you, look, you're on the right track. You've just got to be patient is is everything. You know what I mean? And people that you respect massively. Um, I won't I won't go into any more drummers for now, but that I like, there's so many that have been such a support and it's all come from going to those drum shows and going and chatting to people and becoming part of the drum community and you know it's a scary thing it's a big community and 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 you know but if you're just there loving drums the way that other people love drums you end up just making really good friends uh and and that's kind of um a big thing the other really good thing about a community of any sort really is is accountability accountability i need to pronounce more sometimes yeah accountability and again if you want to go from my community of two me and sharice coming into school every day early to practice and then go at lunch and after school i a lot of mornings waking up especially as i got older into my teenage years sort of 14 15 years old the last thing i wanted to be doing is getting up an uh, hour earlier than i needed to to go into school and practice but i would think about sharice sitting on uh, the wall of the school waiting for me because we'd always wait for each other before we went in and the thought of her losing out on practice because she was waiting for me got me out of bed every time and like I say, that accountability thing is just massive. Um, I've also joined uh, a few communities that are to do with audio recording and that sort of stuff. And again, there's so much accountability there that I just want to be doing better. I want my drums to be sounding as amazing as possible when I send out my stems. Uh, I, you know, and even this community, I want to be giving you, hopefully, good enough information and creating some sort of community that will support each other that will mean that everyone's going ah oh, someone else is going through this or someone else has gone through this and it turned out okay so i just need to keep going that sort of thing i think is the difference between making it or not because you can't be this solitary person we can be as strong as we like individually but if you can physically see someone doing something that you want to be doing and knowing their story or their struggles or just how they got there um their mindset whatever it is if that can help you in your way and you can physically see someone an image of a person that is doing what you want to do that is just so powerful so with that being said i decided at the beginning of 2020 here i'm going to create a community uh, that is for it's for drummers but it can be for any instrumentalist that is trying to make a career of this professionally is professional semi-professional wherever you're at even if you're just sort of starting out but you know that you want to be doing this professionally this is going to be a community for supporting each other not about you know how quickly can you play you know or you know moella technique or you know not the not the physicality of playing but more the experience of becoming a professional you know the mindset that you have to have the kind of drive uh yeah just sharing experiences if you're going through a rough time um you know maybe you can't find any work or no one to play with or whatever it is um a community to support and just go look 
it's going to be fine have you tried this have you tried that and you know i will be in there given my experience you know all this is is the stuff that i've sort of been through and and the lessons that i've learned that can hopefully help you but equally it's going to be a community of people that are helping each other because i think the stronger that we can be together the stronger that everyone will become and and you know push the boundaries and and yeah i just i feel like it's the right thing to do and it's the right time to do it as well so uh if you i'm going to create a facebook group it's called um, Find Your Rhythm. So search for it on Facebook. And as I say, it doesn't have to be just for drummers. It can be for any professional or, or aspiring professional musician. Uh, that it's just a place to go, bah, this is, this is hard, help me. Or just go, I did it. I tried to do this and it worked and I'm doing this now. And I'm, you know, I've just joined this band or, you know, so for all the, 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 the successes and the goals that are being reached and all the frustrations and all this stuff, I just, I'd like to create a place of support, of, um, trust, uh, of, of, yeah just just something to help you on your personal journey to wherever you want to be uh in terms of music or any creative space really but yeah hopefully that will help you as well uh and yes so if you just look up find your rhythm on uh, facebook groups then hopefully by the time this is out i've set it up and maybe there'll even be a couple of people that be uh, a couple of people will be in the group already who knows but it will be there and uh yes let's have a conversation just you know come in bring your bring your experiences and we can all have a chat about it and uh we can all be lovely and kind to each other but anyway right on that lovely hippie note I'm gonna go. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. If you have any subjects that you'd like me to cover, anything you'd like me to talk about, please leave your suggestions in the comments section below. Also, you can send me a an email at info at a drummer's guide to dot com. But yes, I will be back next week with another subject. I have no idea what it's gonna be about, but we shall find out together. All right, and I will see you then for whatever that might be. All right, lots of love, you guys. See you later. See you on the group. Bye.